France is to deploy armoured vehicles on its streets on Friday night as it faces the prospect of a fourth night of rioting. Riots that have seen 2,000 vehicles torched and 900 people arrested, all sparked by the fatal shooting of a 17-year-old black youth pulled over by police in a car in Nanterre. Faced with waves of protest, President Emmanuel Macron urged parents to keep their children at home. Un tiers des interpellés de la dernière nuit sont des jeunes, parfois des très jeunes. C'est la responsabilité des parents de les garder au domicile. Et donc il est important pour la quiétude de tous que la responsabilité parentale puisse pleinement s'exercer. Et j'en appelle au sens de la responsabilité des mères et des pères de famille. La République n'a pas vocation à se substituer à eux. Macron has lashed out against videos and calls for violence made by some young people on social networks. They think it's all a video game, he said, but it's French people who pay for it. Voyez, entre 200 et 300 000 euros par bus. Enfin, je, je précise que euh, nous avons déjà fait l'objet d'attaques à déjà trois bus euh, qui ont été brûlés dans la nuit de mercredi à, à jeudi, plus une rame entière de tram. Alors là, la facture est beaucoup plus élevée. It's estimated it will cost 8 million euros to repair public transport vehicles and networks alone. The riots have summoned the ghost of the banlieue riots that shocked the country in 2005. Comparisons are being drawn between what's happening now and what happened here in France almost 20 years ago when anger spilled into the streets across the country following the deaths of two teenagers who were electrocuted while hiding from police during a chase in a Paris suburb something that residents of these suburbs say is very telling of the kind of discrimination and abuse they often feel they suffer in the hands of French authorities. Will Emmanuel Macron be able to address those grievances, something that governments before his were unable or unwilling to do? Well, the task ahead for the French president is immense. Annelise Borges is in Paris for Euronews.